Hey guys, Dr. Rob here today, and I have a very exciting whiteboard session for you. What we're gonna be talking about today is this, this guy. It's how to make fat burning water. What? Yes. So this is really cool. It's probably one of the healthiest waters you could drink in moderation. This is drinking water from a copper vessel. There's a tremendous amount of health benefits from it. The first one is the water that you drink from this vessel is actually antibacterial. It's what's known as algodynamic, meaning it kills bacteria. It's a metal that interacts with and kills bacteria like staph bacteria and E. coli. Um, in addition to that, the copper water, it helps to detoxify and cleanse the stomach. So if you have harmful bacteria that's in your stomach, the copper interacts with that, helps to kill that. It also helps to cleanse the stomach. The copper from this copper water helps to regulate kidney function, helps to regulate liver function, and improves the absorption of nutrients from your food. Now, here's the cool part. Copper promotes the elimination, the elimination and breakdown of fat cells. So people that are deficient in copper, they do have or can have a harder time uh, breaking down fat and eliminating fat cells from their body. Drinking copper water can help to aid in that. So if that's not enough, drinking water from this copper vessel helps your heart. It helps to lower blood pressure. It helps to reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels. It also aids a role in anemia. So if you suffer from iron deficient anemia, you need copper to properly absorb your iron and get it into your bloodstream. So copper water can take care of that. Copper is also necessary to make the melanin in your skin, which gives your skin and your eyes the darker color. Um, copper is also protective in nature to the skin. So it helps to protect the skin from sun damage when you're getting the ultraviolet radiation. Copper is also beneficial just for the overall health of the skin. Now, if that's not enough, there's even more. So the copper from copper water is anti-cancer. So it helps because of its powerful antioxidant capabilities, it helps to fight free radical damage, which we know is connected to cancer. So it's anti-cancer. It also benefits your brain. So it stimulates your brain. It helps in thyroid function. So for those of you that are underactive with your thyroid, like most people are hypothyroid, uh, drinking copper water can aid and support the thyroid there. And the last thing is it's great for the immune system. So it really helps to support proper immune system function. So if you're dealing with allergies, sinus problems, and especially autoimmune disease, inflammation, like the type you would get from autoimmune disorders and or arthritis, Copper water can be wonderful for. Now, important, you can overdo this. So you really only wanna have like two cups per day. Three cups would be absolute max. Um, I like to start with one. And the way you do this is you buy a copper vessel like this. You can get it on Amazon. This was about 23, 24, uh, 23 $24. And you fill it up with water and you let it sit like good, clean, healthy water like from uh, an alkaline water system or from a reverse osmosis system. You let the water sit there overnight. And what happens is the copper naturally leaches out into the water. On an empty stomach, you pour yourself a glass of this, and that's the first thing that you drink. And for most people, that's enough. It's just one glass of the copper water per day. Some people should do two. Three is absolute max. If you suffer with copper disorders, like copper storage disorders, like Wilson's disease, then this, of course, is something you absolutely do not want to do. The other important part on this is cleaning it. So you gotta clean this thing properly. Right now it's nice and shiny because it's nice and clean, but after you use it one or two times, the uh, copper will oxidize. So the inside of this right here is gonna turn like a, almost like a black color. Um, at that point in time, you need to clean it. It good cleaning solutions for a copper vessel are baking soda, or apple cider vinegar, or lemon water. Those seem to do the job. They remove the oxidation. It's good to go, and then you go ahead the next day and you redo the process at night. You fill it up with water. In the morning, you get your glass of copper water on, and this is gonna really help your body. I encourage you to do this just one glass per day. Of course, check with your medical doctor, healthcare provider to make sure you have no disease processes that would prevent the use of this. But if you don't, check out your copper water. And of course, if you have a health or weight problem and you feel like you know, you're at your rope's end and you really just need some help, you need some answers, we are a facility, I feel, of answers and proper direction. 
So we've worked with people from, uh, from, geez, from 43 different United States, from 43 different U.S. states and 22 other countries. So if you need help, here's a link right here. I'm going to put it right down below to my free online weight loss and health evaluation. Please go fill that out and we will call you for a free consultation to explain how we could help. I hope you enjoyed this information and I will catch you at the next whiteboard session, which might even be more excited than my copper fat burning water. This stuff is really cool. I really like this. Let me know how you do with it too. Uh, put in the comment section down below how you liked it, your experiences with it. I'd love to communicate with you guys about it. So I hope to see you at my next whiteboard session. Have a great one. Bye.